Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. My name is Matthew Makachek from Rogers, Texas. Uh, this is the uh, 1962 Oliver 1800 Series B tractor that I restored. Uh, well, probably, probably about nine, ten months we put into it. Going through everything, engine, transmission, final drive, hydraulics, electrical, paint, you name it, we did it. Matthew started restoring tractors uh, right after his brother. He got hooked on it and loved it, and we've been doing tractors ever since. You tend to get used to it but I would still walk into the shop and go, where's the tractor? Like, oh, there's a piece. Oh, there's a stack. And it's just phenomenal that they can find all the pieces and put them back together. They go from every bolt is out of these tractors. I mean, they even, they even sandblast the, the, the rear end housings and everything. I mean, they really do a fantastic job. Matthew, and he does, he does just great work. Matt Makachek was the 2019 grand champion of the National Dello Tractor Restoration Competition. He won the big prize by restoring Larry Swaylock's 1962 Oliver 1800 with front wheel assist. And you can rest assured this tractor did not look like this when Matthew got started. When I got this tractor, it uh, didn't ran. Sheet metal was pretty decent on it, it wasn't all terrible. Once I did get it running, then we had some issues to start seeing through. Usually when I get them, they're not running. So usually it doesn't really matter if it's running or not. We're going to take it apart anyway. Go uh, start. Usually about takes two weeks to assemble everything. It's just rebuilding is what takes forever because you got to make sure you have the right parts, putting all you back together and getting everything all organized. It took up probably almost half the shop. We had it scattered from one end to the other. We kind of keep everything organized, everything marked keep the transmission, engine parts together so they don't get too mixed up and just make sure everything is, is labeled, tagged, and accounted for. The main challenge was the front wheel assist for sure. It wasn't a major challenge, just getting parts is always the biggest issue that we always had. But the front wheel assist it had a uh, issue with one of the hydraulic cylinders actually. Uh, it wouldn't turn one direction, I believe it's to the right. So when we go to start turning this tractor, it, it only goes one direction. That's how the, the uh, hydraulic system is set up for the steering. So when we go through and took apart that cylinder, we noticed that the, the nut actually got stripped away from the rod. So the piston slammed against one of the sides of the uh, hydraulic cylinder. Once we got that taken care of, everything worked just fine. Another issue, you know, is just making sure uh, all the decals cor are correct. Uh, we try going through and finding the uh, dealership decal, and just make sure it's still original, because uh, we restored it as to uh, dealer specifications. As far as that goes, not factory specifications. But we want to make sure it's all still original, so we, when you go back to look at it, you can notice like some fine details like that. Paying attention to the fine details is a strength for Matthew. So too is his ability to gather facts and history about each of the tractors he's restored for competition. This uh, 1800 was built in 62. Uh, it's a Series B, of course. The 62 model is the first factory front wheel assist ever produced as far as all the tractors go. You know, you can find earlier uh, accounts of front wheel assist as far as, I believe, 1948 with the Moline that went up for auction here recently. But the thing about that, it was conversion, it wasn't factory. This is all factory. So they produced probably about 300 of these. Series A, I believe there's only two in existence, possibly one. Uh, series B, about 150, maybe less than that. And then Series C, of course, about 120. Engine's a Waukesha engine. They used this engine for a long time, back in the 50s, I believe, when they first started building these Waukesha engines. The 1800s will be the last year, last series they used the Waukesha engines with the Series C. Matthew actually made it to the top 12 in the Dello National Competition three times. As a junior in high school, he took home second place nationally with this Minneapolis Moline 335 owned by family friend Mike Winkler. This Dello restoration competition, I think it gives them a sense of responsibility, accountability. Uh, there's deadlines to meet. There's things that you have to do. There's rules and regulations. They have to go step by step and go through each one of those. And they have to present this in a timely fashion and... Uh, they learn a lot by doing that. Uh, the Chevron Dello competition, it's more than just taking a tractor apart and putting it back together. It's documentation. 
learning what you did, how you did it, why you did it, learning how to use specialty tools. Then you have to tell the story. You learn speaking skills, talking to people, interview skills. In fact, a critical part of the Dello competition is documenting every step in the restoration process, taking photos, budgeting, and keeping track of all the hours that went into taking a classic tractor like this Oliver 1800 and making it better than new. Documentation for sure with the record books as well, because I think this tractor we had over 900 photos taken throughout the whole process from start to finish. That's even when we picked it up, right, right where it's left off. And, continue to go on that. I believe it's probably about four or five hundred hours by the time we're done. It just takes a lot of time sanding. Most of the time was sanding and buffing out the paint because it's competition. Uh, it's not how it was from the factory. They don't want it sprayed on with the garden hose. They want it nice and pretty like show cars. So we got to get all that taken care of and get all nice and pretty for them. Make sure there's no runs on it. If there's a run on it, sand it down or wipe it off and go back to town painting again. It's a lot of fun though, that's for sure. Matt, you did send me some pictures and stuff as they come in along, or I would come here. But, but yeah, it's 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 really amazing when you when you see the finished product. I mean, it's just you just you know. I, I in fact, I think these tractors, what these kids do, are like, like what Matt you did here, is better than when they come off the floor at Charles City, Iowa. You know, they just they're just so much. It's just so much more more to these tractors. I, I like I always say I say I think this tractor's better than than when it come off the Charles City floor. When the time came for Matthew to present the Oliver 1800 at the 2019 National Dello Tractor Restoration Competition, all the hours and the hard work paid off. They announced third. I'm like, well, Matthew might have a chance. When they announced second, I'm like, well, we're probably done. Yeah, when they, when uh, Dello announced Matthew as the winner, it was like pretty overwhelming. It was uh, nothing that we really expected. He finally announced first place, and it was Matthew. And I'm pretty sure everybody in Texas should have heard me yelling and screaming my trademark surprise. It was just pretty awesome. It was it kind of took our breath away. It was pretty amazing. We were we were not expecting to to place that high. Uh, we knew he would, knew he had had the talent and, and the knowledge, but I mean the the Chevron Dello competition is is a very tough competition. You make the top 12, that's the 12 best people in the United States. You know it's it's not it's not an easy easy feat. The, he, that phone rang and Matthew said, "Guess what?" And I said, "Don't tell me." I almost started crying. He was I was so happy. He won that. He won the nationals grand champion. And uh, it was it was just amazing. Mom was screaming, of course. Dad was shocked, and our teacher was there actually too, and she was surprised too. It was a lot of fun, and stay up late, talk to all the judges, and understand what I could have improved on, even though I wasn't going to show next year. <laughs> but still, wanted to know what I can improve on. That's how I am. Just small improvements make a di big difference especially in competition. As the grand champion, Matthew got to travel the country meeting people and showing off the award-winning work he did on this Oliver 1800. That was totally worth it. I would do it again if I had more time on my hands. Right now I don't, but uh, if I had more time on my hands, I would do it again for sure.